Welcome back to the Fixed Ops Roundtable. This is our fourth pop-up event. I am Ted Ings. We're here in beautiful Albany, New York at the DePolo Automotive Group. Tom Restino, VP of Operations, is joining us. Uh, Tom, very impressed with your staff so far. Thanks so much, Ted, for coming to Albany. It's, it's uh, fantastic to have you here. Yeah. Appreciate it very much. And here we have the, the women. The of, women of, of the DePaula Fixed Operations, real important piece, real structure for us. So, Layton, the biggest pieces. If you would, let's go right down the line, introduce yourselves, uh, and then what you do at the DePolo or Water Group. I'm Beverly Keenan. I work in the parts department. I'm a parts advisor. I'm Natasha and I'm a certified service technician. I'm Mackenzie Albin. I'm the BDC manager for Ford and Mazda. I am Tracy Perigo. I am the service manager at Chevy Service Department. And I'm Lori Barrett. I'm with DePaulo Auto Group, and I wear many hats. So I'm all over the place. So ladies, um, there are a lot of preconceived notions. Um, a lady working in the automotive business historically, uh, it's been known as a male-dominated industry. Uh, some of your thoughts on that, Bev, if I can come to you Go first. In the beginning for me, I mean, I've been here for quite a few years, 38 to be exact. And in the beginning, it was tough because guys didn't really trust you that much. But as time went on, everything was so much better and they everybody gets along. It's great. Yep. Ikasha? As a woman in the garage, you definitely have to prove yourself a little bit more than others. So you have to really know your stuff before saying anything. But... Once they, like Beth said, once they trust you, definitely, if you And Mackenzie, I want to ask you about that as well. You know, male-dominated industry and uh, your thoughts. Yeah, I think you definitely have to prove yourself a little bit more as a female. Um, but as a female, I think we're more organized because we love to see females in the dealership. So absolutely. That's positive. And I think, Mackenzie, it, w- it would send a message, you know, when a dealership does not have women, okay, whether it's in the service lane or in the parts department, mm-hmm. Okay, that sends a message to the customer as well if they don't. Yeah, I work a lot um, with the phones and customers directly, and a lot of people actually request to work with a woman when they come in. So it's great that we have all I love it. And Tracy, you and I met earlier this morning on the uh, on the service drive. Uh, you know, so important. Uh, your thoughts on that? Well, I'll tell you definitely um, as a female service manager because there's not a lot of them out there. Um, and the big thing as far as our dealership, which I try to work with everybody on, is empathy for the customers because you never know what anybody's dealing with when they enter that service lane. There's a lot of women that come in now. It used to be their husbands brought their vehicles in. Today, there's a lot of women out there. But they're working a lot of, you know, they have busy jobs. Um, we have a shuttle service. So when they see a woman in there, they are totally put at ease, especially when you walk around their vehicle, as we did this morning um, with the lane process. When you teach them things about their vehicle, things that we're looking at just from their tires to their brake fluid, they're like, wow, I feel like so much more at ease. I was very nervous about coming in here. So definitely um, makes a big difference having females in there. Absolutely. Lori Barrett. So, you know, I've been with the dealership for eight years and immediately I felt, you know, like I was part of the family. Tom brought me on and um, yeah, I've grown with the company so much over the years. And now, you know, customers always ask me, you know, what do you do at, for DePaula? And honestly, I say a little bit of everything. And so there's so many opportunities here as a female in this industry. And I honestly can take credit for Tracy <laughs> because I brought her on. She's been a friend of mine for 20 something years and she's done a phenomenal job. So well, it definitely gives you lots of opportunities to run the curl for sure. Wait, would you say, ladies, there's a career path? Oh, here, sure, Paula? absolutely. I but thought I'm almost retired, so. Oh, well, you're not. No, you're not. I know. All no, right. More year. <laughs> All right. So, so Bev, let me come back to that. Uh, how have you seen the industry change over the years? You know, in terms of you know women in the dealership. The technologies now compared to when I started are fabulous. I mean, it's so much easier looking up a part now than it used to be. Sure. Tracy, how have you seen the industry change over the years? Well, the biggest thing, again, is having females in the workforce. And as we going back to another question from earlier, as far as being a female out there and gaining the respect from the males out there, because at first you, you have to have a strong personality to do this and you have to be firm um, to let them know you know your stuff. You know, again, with technicians, 
counterparts, customers. I mean, everybody all around. So it definitely years ago, it wasn't like that. It was just, you walked in, there was men everywhere, just male technicians. This is amazing. I mean, just to have female technicians is fantastic. Um, women in the parts department, women in management. I mean, so there's definitely, it's evolved. It's definitely gone to another level. Um, and we all bring a little bit, you know, to the table, you know, so. I love it. Mackenzie, how you? Yeah, to piggyback off of that, uh, there's just way more opportunities for women now than there was to be in the automotive industry. Um, I started off as a delivery coordinator here at Fall, and now I'm in management. So they definitely give you an opportunity to grow. Uh, women just aren't in accounting anymore. Obviously, all of us are in different departments, so that's great. I love it. And, you know, as we go around the country, Tom, we see a lot of women now who are women dealers, okay? The general manager, the dealer principal, you know, is the lady as well. So there's definitely a career path. Absolutely. And Natasha, it's, you know, a good time, I think a great time to be a, a lady in the car business right now. Especially being young. Well, yes. <laughs> She's kind of good, good, good chat. Mackenzie, talk to me about the, how important are customer service skills right now in our industry? Customer service is basically my entire job, so it's very, very important. Um, it's good to build, we need to build healthy relationships with our customers so that they trust us, so that they come back, so that we have a uh, repetitive business. So it's very important. Who else would like to talk about those customer service skills and how important that is in our industry? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we live in such a different times today, just over the last two years, customer service is like at its all time low in a lot of areas for us. We try to bring it as high as we possibly can, because as I stated earlier, you don't know what people are dealing with in this world outside of that dealership. Nobody wants to go to a car dealership. They want to go and you know, they're like going to the, to the doctors. It's like it's good. It takes their time and it's going to cost you money. So whatever we can do to help them, educate them, make it a good, positive experience. When they come back in, they're like they're they're looking for you and you're hearing, wow, you know, you did such an amazing job, you know, that we feel comfortable what can you help me again, you know? And if we can get all our advisors on that same page that they're treating their customers like, you know, like you don't know what they're dealing with. So let's make it a great day for them and do whatever we can to, to get them come back. And Tracy, how did you come up with the industry? And then I'll come back to Mackenzie. Well, I will tell you, I knew a lot about the car business only because my husband was in it for many years, um, sales and finance. So when he was a big car guy, so we knew a lot about stuff. I've only been in it a couple of years. I started off as an express advisor and just grew, And I, but I have customer service skills, and Lori knew that I would be a good fit. Um, and I met with Tom and my boss, all other boss, Dennis, and um, decided to give it a shot, and I love it. I do. I love it. <laughs> I wish I'd been in it years ago, but I was raising a family, and, you know, but I'm in it now for the long haul. I wish I had youth on my side, <laughs> but I, I know what? I don't plan on retiring, so. McKenzie, McKenzie. I was just going to go along with what Tracy said about um, customer service. We have a lot of programs here at DePaula to make it easier for customers as well, which I like, like our pickup and delivery service, uh, where we can go to the customer, pick up their car, bring it back, fix it, and deliver it right back to them. They don't waste any time in the dealership. They're not waiting. They can do other things with their day. So, Excellent. And um, Tom, you provide a lot of tools here at DePaula for your employees. You know, Talk to us a little bit about that. Yes, we do. You know, one thing that we're seeing with these young women is, is empathy that they're showing to our, our guests when they show up. That's a big piece, showing empathy to our technicians. And that's a big piece that we want to have. We have women, more women in the, in the fixed operations, as you'll see, going along today. But it's just a, it just keeps the ball rolling. I mean, just keeps everything going. I mean, you got to be diverse with everything, correct? I mean, when Mackenzie says we have a pickup and delivery, think times are changing. Times are changing. What are we doing for the guests when they come in? I mean, not everybody wants to come into the, the dealership. So you, we have we offer pickup and delivery in all our locations and, and showing that empathy. No one wants to come into the dealership, but they have a nice surprise when they see a friendly face or uh, someone that can meet their needs. I mean, it makes it a little bit easier, and we, we welcome that, don't we? We want to welcome everybody immediately when they attend here. And Bev, you pointed out as well, not only do they provide the tools, but you mentioned earlier, maybe the best tool of all, this beautiful new Mazda facility that DePaul has got. It's fabulous. It took a long time, but it's good. <laughs> it's good. Well, ladies, thank you so much. On behalf of the Fixed Ops community, appreciate your time today. Uh, everybody, 
the women of DePaul here at the pop-up event at the Fixed Ops Roundtable. Don't go away. We'll be right back.